kept us in a vault for 200 yeah. years. Had enough? What in the hell happened out there? I've got reports from all over the valley calling in emergencies every five minutes. People are talking about demons and mutants swarming over half our territory. Did you have something to do with this? Super mutants? What in the hell are you talking about? There's no way they could have an army of that size. They're sterile! Holy Hannah! What in the flying fuck do you mean, not anymore? The NCR has had super mutant soldiers in our units for over a hundred years. The whole thing's an affront to everything we know about them. Well, as far as we can figure, the master was a computer built into an old vault out there in Angel's Boneyard. Something happened and it blew up. Pretty much all the information is lost after that. Some people say it's how President Tandy began the NCR. The legend says that there's a vault dweller that came up from the far south and fought a great evil, twisting men into beasts. Of course, <laughs> that's just myth. I hate to get all politically correct, but we in the NCR don't call them beasts. It's derogatory. We call them super mutants. Well, as you've observed, we're in a bit of a bind. I can't officially organize an NCR military outfit to launch an assault on a group by race. Well, we'll have to wait until they strike us, per congressional doctrine. Even then, I can't authorize an official military response against their kind. But then again, you're still not NCR. You're my magic eight ball, and I may have a solution for you. One that you may or may not like. That's funny, but you may be right. We're way over our heads, Agent, and it's time to make a tough call. I can't ask you to do it without being perfectly clear. The morality isn't up for debate. The actors hate. The actors and play are bad people. These people killed my wife. They held me for a slave as a child. And until this afternoon, they were the chief threat to the NCR's way of life. I'm talking about the survivalist raiders, the last of their sort not firmly under our boot heel. We need to eliminate their central leadership. Reports so far say the mutants you released are hitting them first. If we can manage to knock Els Dragon off his high horse, that will drive their leadership into chaos. The super mutants will do our work for us. If you can get into Athens, you can kill Els Dragon and get out while the mutants are attacking their main gate. Normally it would be, but remember, we're talking about a separatist faction in an illegal state outside the NCR. He's not a citizen. And the last time I checked, neither are you. All right, now don't get too excited. We're talking about the death of a man wanted for court justice. If you knowingly kill a man under warrant for arrest, the NCR can imprison you for life as a vigilante. They take jurisdictional law very seriously back in the hub. We've been able to get away with killing unknown raiders so far because they're all wanted with a bounty on their heads. Els Dragon isn't. He's a foreign head of state. It is, according to Congress. They call this kind of thing a Confederate state. It's, it's all legal bullshit. Partly Senator DeVille's fault. If it were up to men like me, we'd ride into every raider compound in the nation and serve them up a plate of hot lead. That's country justice. But as a general, it's not in my purview to decide matters of constitutional law. All this political pandering and namby-pamby crap is part of serving elected officials of the Republic. But it's not your oath to abide by. You're outside the law, as far as my command is concerned. Good. Just make sure to leave yourself a straight path back out of that mine. You have several ways to get in. Hell's Dragon has a daughter out in Black Horse Ranch. If you sneak in there, you can kidnap her to draw him out. Unethical, but it'd work. You could touch base with a raider defector and have them sneak you in. Or you can try to get in the hard way, right through the front door. I'll leave it up to your unique problem-solving abilities. Good luck, and Godspeed.
You've got multiple options. Let's hear them. Well, not technically. Wilson has provided us with valuable intelligence in the past in exchange for cash. He's got a family in the slave pit, you see. He and the old guard stepped on Els Dragon's toes one time too many. You can find him at his station at Big Bear Lake, probably fighting a group of those mutants you released. Bail him out of that pot of hot water, and I promise you, Wilco will find a way into your mind. Good. I'll see you back here when this is all over. You've returned. I heard the Fort Dagger Point mission didn't go quite as expected. Still, we can use this to our advantage. The Super Mutant Horde is causing a rout in the survivalist forces. They're bending under the weight of their frontal assault. Now is the time to strike. Silverman will be caught completely off guard. We get you into Athens Tech, remove Els Dragon, then report to me. That's entirely up to you. Let's go over your options. Yes, of course, the old guard captain. He isn't a spy so much as an indebted servant. You can meet with him at his outpost along the lakeside in Big Bear Lake. His warehouse has a few unique tools hidden away there. Find him and see if he can sneak you in and out of Athens Tech Mine. Hopefully for your sake, undetected. For your sake, luck had better be in your favor. Hmm, it's possible. You'd have to be clever about it. Els Dragon has a daughter in Black Horse Ranch at the house on the top of the hill. If you kidnap her, he'll come running. I suggest you take her just outside of Barstow, away from the Super Mutant Onslaught. I'll slip word to him, and he'll take a vertebrate to meet you. Then you kill him! He won't be interested in the forces overrunning his men and knowing his family is in danger. You keep him distracted long enough to eliminate him however you please, then deal with the girl. I don't care what you do with her. After Els Dragon is dead, the raiders will be in disarray and the super mutants will turn on the NCR. We use that time to kill Silverman. Just meet me back here. Make sure you have adequate firepower. I'll have my men prepared. Indeed. Hey there, pal. I got another deal for you. You interested? Yeah. This time they were headed in from New Reno. Ran straight into a pack of raiders up north. We got a radio call about them getting hit. Sounds like they were pinned down in a wash off the 15. If you got time, you ought to head out into the desert and intercept their position. Odds are they don't have long. I got a relative fix. Here, you may want to follow the sound of gunfire when you get closer.
Man, I wish I'd found a way into Athens Tech Mine earlier. I'm supposed to be getting revenge for my buddies. These are my rangers, Barney, Jeff, and Ollie. If you got any ideas on how to help us on our mission, let us know. A defecting raider? Really? How did you come across that information? I was wondering how a crazy little vault dweller like you managed to tear off that collar and book it for my position. You had a man on the inside. Good job, kid. Where is this guy? I hope he hasn't been overrun by those super mutants you let loose. Big Bear, huh? Well, how about this? I'm gonna run on ahead, we'll scout things out, and then decide on what to do. <laughs> it may be your plan, sugar, but it's our mission. We'll meet up with this Wilco and figure things out on our own. Come on, boys. We have a mind to raid. Nice work. You're turning out to be a regular hero, cowboy. All right. I can't wait to crack open the crates they brought back. Hot damn. May have to spend a little time alone with them. Yeah, nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just want to take a little look at it. All right, all right. You keep bringing these caravans in and I'll sweeten the pot. Take this 50 Deagle I got and keep your damn mouth shut. Last thing I need is some upstart coming between me and that high velocity sweetness. Kid, we got another emergency. Another caravan from New Reno got hit. This time, a bunch of energy weapons dealers were attacked. They were heavily guarded, so it must have been a tough fight. Their location is just up I-15 from the bridge. You'll have a hell of a time getting there. It's all Raider land the whole way. Sure do. Can't guarantee they're still there, though. You better hurry. There. Now run! Those guys probably don't have much time! Good luck! Thank you. 
All right. I'm guessing by the empty roster that those boys never made it. What happened? You're shitting me. God damn. How do you know? Ah, god damn it! Alright. I'll have to report this to the top brass. Shit! If we can't trust our own contractors, who can we deal with? No offense, but you mercenaries are getting us in deep shit. All over California, mercs are getting paid top dollar to stab us all in the back. Happens over and over, every day. Oh, you louse! No good! Arr! All right, fine. Take this plasma defender and 200 energy cells. But that's all, you hear? <laughs> sure. I've heard the stories. There's old swaths of the desert with corpses in your wake. Hell, let's see you now. You don't even look like the same kid that wandered through here a few days ago. It's like you've grown. I can't say for sure, but it seems like you've gained a few inches all around. And you're healthier looking. I don't know any mercs that get stronger bathing in blood, but you look like you're getting the better end of this deal. Ha! Hail Mary. Come back and talk to me again. With things heating up, there's bound to be more work. <laughs>